Good morning to the YouTubes. It's your boy Trevor Steele. In today's video, I want to talk about these six, maybe seven if I can come up with a seventh, common paramotor launch mistakes. These are easily fixable things that people do on a regular basis that leads to them messing up, blowing launches, and having to start over, which, listen, it's no fun to be st get, get your whole family together. Everybody's watching, nervous, anxious. You go to launch and you completely blow it. The even more embarrassing thing is showing up to the field, telling everybody you're the best, and then blowing a launch. Let's get started. Number one is hooking in wrong. This sounds like a stupid one, right? How many times do you hook in wrong? Who hooks in wrong? Well, listen, there's at least 10 million lines attached to that glider and 17 different ways for you to hook in. Yeah, it can get complicated. So here's the tip I have for anybody that's relatively new uh, and, and making this mistake or maybe you've made this mistake. Here's what you do. Every night when you get home from work, you pull out your glider, you open it up, you hook in, you put it away, you go home. That's what you do. Every night you do it once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Maybe you get risky and do it four times. But if you just do that every night for like a week, a week straight, you just hook in, by the end of that week, you're going to be freaking good. You're never going to make a mistake again. Moving on to number two, lack of commitment. This one applies mostly for forward launches. That's where you run forward with the wing behind you. Anytime I'm helping someone with their forward launches, teaching someone how to do forward launches, the biggest thing that makes or breaks the launch is their commitment level. This can't be an 80% kind of thing. This can't even be a 100% kind of thing. This has got to be a 169% kind of thing. You've got to give it everything you've got. You've got to run as hard as you freaking can. You have to absolutely go for it. I find if you're making a mistake, if the glider comes up wrong or something is not how you want it, the more commitment level, the faster you run, the harder you try more often than not you can fix it number three a lack of glider control now listen this one should really go without saying the better you are at flying that glider the better you are going to be at launching that glider the more practice you have underneath that thing the more you're going to launch that wing successfully my tip is get as much glider control as possible that's why at super training we spend so much freaking time on glider control because we know the more skill you have the more fun you have the safer you are number four or setting up in a bad spot. Listen, listen, listen. I know a guy who happens to have run through at least three separate bushes. Here's the thing. If you're going to set up for a launch, give yourself as much freaking room as you can. If you're not sure that you're going to make it, give yourself a little bit more room. Set up somewhere else. Uh, and on top of that, not only are, are you setting up in a bad spot, you also should have a stop point. That's something I mentioned in a previous video, and, and that's where you commit to a certain point, and then if you reach that spot, you stop. Not only should you set yourself up in a better spot where there's not a bush, a trailer, a house, a, you know, a car, trees, power lines, a, a fence, any of those things in your way, uh, but you also should make sure that you have a point which you stop before those objects so you don't run through those. Number five bad weather conditions uh, this one is obvious if the wind is changing directions like every 10 15 seconds we call that light and variable it's really rough uh, if you set up downwind it's not gonna work unless you can freaking run like a banshee baby you ain't gonna get that wing in the air uh, and if you set up crosswind that's gonna make it even more difficult so really 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 important that you actually set your wing up into the wind and that you choose a good day. Maybe the wind is gusting. It's going from zero miles an hour to five miles an hour. You set up for a reverse launch and the wind is zero. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, and so you have to make sure that you set yourself up for success and you set yourself into that wind. Now that you, you might only have like a 15 second window where the wind changes direction into your face. What we do is, is we'll set up the direction that w the wind has been blowing, right? Maybe it's changing around and we will sit there and wait ready to launch until the wind kind of shifts towards us then we will go uh, and number six uh, you stop flying the glider you inflate the glider you hit on the power and then you absolutely freeze up this one you can tell instantly if you watch someone's videos or any videos of people launching that uh, they get up they get the glider up and they just freeze and they stop 
doing anything. This one kind of ties into the lack of glider control. It's a mixture of both. Number one, you kind of get clouded in your mind. You kind of get locked in. You kind of freeze up. And number two, maybe you don't even know what you're doing. So it's one of those two things. Uh, it's it's common. I, I mean, look, this is a this is an intimidating moment. You're trying to do something, and if you don't do it right, you're gonna blow the launch. And if you blow the launch, you could possibly break equipment or fall down and get embarrassed. So it's you, you get all you get all tensed up. You gotta relax. You gotta lean back into that power. You gotta watch that glider. You gotta fly that glider. You can't ever stop flying that glider. That is the number one most important thing when it comes to launching a paramotor, when it comes to flying a paramotor, when it comes to landing a paramotor. Fly that freaking glider. Which leads me into something I wanna talk about. We have an advanced training class we offer here in Utah. Yes, I offer an advanced training. Me, Trevor Steele, here in Utah. It's a three day class. Uh, where we go through the launching, advanced la launching and landing techniques. I help you guys launch in some crazy dynamic conditions. Uh, not only that, do we get some nice beach conditions here in Utah as well, a certain place. Then we work into some mountain flying. I teach you guys how to understand rotor, weather, lines to pick, where not to go, where to go, when to go, weather, all of that stuff as far as mountain flying. Uh, and then we go into cross country stuff where I help you plan cross country flight, look at the maps, read the maps, all of that stuff so you understand how to plan a cross country and actually execute on a cross country flight good judgment while in a cross-country flight and, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, plus, we'll do a, a assisted cross-country flight where we'll fly quite a ways if we can. That's an advanced training class I do here in Utah. If you've already flown and you're looking to kind of progress those skills, come out to Utah, come fly with me. Give me a ring, 800-707-2525. I would love to see you guys at this advanced training class. Uh, my name is Trevor Steele, and I am signing off. Thank you to the Fly Gods for another good video, and I'll see you guys next time.